The tip that I'm about to give you is going to make the best Blitz in Madden 24 even better. And we're talking about the free safety zone blitz out of the dollar three two formation. This can be found in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. Now there is a another defensive playbook that a lot of people actually use. I personally was using it. It was the uh, multiple defensive playbook where you could get the cover two press, which essentially had the same blitzing angle. The problem with this is they actually made a, a specific attempt to patch that specific. Uh, play okay now the reason that that is significant is because now you need to find that same blitzing angle and concept out of another play in dollar there are a couple of plays that have it one of them is the play spinner and i've talked a little bit about this but all you're going to do in terms of setting this blitz up is you are just going to basically pinch your linebackers now one of the other tips that i've given is i really believe that if you are not pressing it makes the blitz significantly more likely to come up the A-gap. So as you can see right there, we get a five-man pressure. I know the running back was open. We can easily cover him with some different adjustments. Let me just – just so that just for the sake of the people that are going to tell me the running back was wide open, we'll do that. And then as you can see, there's not really anything open that they can throw immediately before the blitz gets in. Okay, now there's a reason, in my opinion, that this blitz is the best blitz in the game, but there's also a, a way to make it significantly better, and I'm going to explain that here. So we're going to use the free safety zone blitz. This is the zone version um, of the blitzing concept, and I'm actually just going to put in any kind of safety. I'm going to sub in Jerron Curse here, and hopefully this will showcase kind of what I'm – what I'm trying to get at in terms of what you need to be looking for from a personnel perspective if you want to run this blitz. Now, again, the blitz is only half of the puzzle. If you want the covered adjustments behind it, how to stop the run, how to stop the pass, how to think about certain formations, how to stop certain styles of formations, join the Patreon. It's only $10. The link's in the description, and I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player because it's going to teach you everything that I know about Madden. As you can see right there, Jerron Curse actually got picked up coming through the A-gap. And let let me explain that real quick. So if we look at the replay, you're going to see here that when he goes to kind of turn inside, um, the guard is able to recover and he actually ends up, you know, picking up the pressure pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty well. Okay. So there's a lot of schools of thought and I actually have one that I'm going to give you in this video that I think is going to be super helpful. It's just something I've noticed. Um, but we'll try spreading the linebackers and what you'll see is he might still come in, but it's going to be very inconsistent. He's not going to come in a lot. Um, even if I checked into the play spinner here, you're going to see that we're going to kind of get the same basic response. So here's spinner. Spinner actually almost came in there, but again, the guard was able to pick it up. Okay. Now for testing purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to sub in a linebacker at that same position. Now you are kind of, in my opinion, looking for a specific type of linebacker. And I find the best one to be Ray Lewis with Lurk Artists. I've tested a lot of different players at this position, and it's you you would be shocked at how many people I have like ran this play with. Another cool little underrated thing is the double safety go is very similar to the free safety zone blitz. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll actually show that real quick. So if you look here, double safety go, if I pinch the D-line, it's the same basic behavior. And then I can actually, uh, or I, I know how the safety's in the box, so we can use them in coverage. But what you'll see here, Ray Lewis on the say get blitz. And that time he did get picked up, but we're going to actually come back out in free safety zone blitz just to kind of give a little bit better of an explanation. It's also going to put the slot corner out there, uh, and I think it's just going to show this a little bit better. But again, I personally, where I'm at right now with the game and, and all the testing I've done, I really think Ray Lewis is the best person uh, to be using this with because you're looking for kind of a, a blend of a lot of different things. You're looking for somebody with good agility. You're looking for somebody with good speed. You're looking for somebody that doesn't have like pass rush moves that are going to trigger. Um, you're also look, you're looking for change of direction, you know, all these things. So anyways, let's see if we can get this here. Hopefully we can. Maybe just Bunch just picks this up better than it ever has. I'm actually going to uh, send the slot corner as well. But what you'll see is is this this blitz with Ray Lewis, especially the five-man, should come in a lot more regularly. So there you see, and you see this right here. Now, if you look at the replay, you're going to notice something interesting uh, about Ray Lewis if we look closely here. So what you're going to see here is if we look at this real quick, you're going to see that when he turns up field, he gets almost, it's not like a speed burst. I'm trying to think how to word it. 
it's just like a really uh, smooth cut up field. Okay. Now there's a lot of reasons why this could be the case. One of the reasons could be his height. Okay. One of the reasons could be his speed. One of the reasons could be his change of agility, his, his change of direction, his agility. All those things are factors. But let's take a look at his ratings real quick. So if we look at Ray Lewis, he has 92 speed and 90 agility. Okay, I think that there's actually a threshold for this. And I actually think 90 agility is, uh, in my opinion, one of the thresholds for this. Now, the uh, because this, is, this would explain why uh, Troy Palomalu and Isaiah Pacheco also do a really good job. Now, what's really interesting about Ray Lewis, though, is he has 91 power move. Josh Allen has 30 power move and 30 finesse move. And Josh Allen, so he doesn't have any pass rush skills, right? The other thing about Josh Allen is he has 89 change in direction, whereas Ray Lewis has 93. And he has 89 agility, whereas Ray Lewis has 90. Now, if I try the same blitzing theory with Josh Allen, who is taller, has one point lower on the agility and just a couple points lower on the change of direction, I've noticed just over through testing that Josh Allen comes in a lot less. Now, again, I am sitting five, so he might come in here. He does come in, actually does end up coming in here. But I've just noticed from testing he comes in a lot less, especially in game. You see this stuff a little bit more in game. If I send the four man, let's see if he comes in here. Yep, yeah, doesn't come in. And if you notice just the way he kind of moves on the field, he's just just slightly a little bit more sluggish than Ray Lewis. So, yes, this is a hundred percent like a theory. I'm not a hundred percent sure, right? I'm just telling you what I've noticed. I have also noticed, however, and this is what's important. I've also noticed that Isaiah Pacheco and Troy Palomalu come in pretty well as well. The thing that I interestingly kind of believe, and this is just, again, this is just an idea theory. We'll show you the actual setup for the Blitz too, so you can have that. But if we take a look here at Isaiah Pacheco, he is 5'10", he's got 94 speed, he's got 93 agility, 94 acceleration, 92 change direction. So he hits the threshold for all those statistics. He has 20 power move, 20 finesse move. Troy Palomalu has a little bit better in all those categories, but at the core, what makes Troy Palomalu good? Well, he's 5'10", so he's shorter, but he actually only has 89 agility, and he does have 94 change of direction. So his agility is under the 90 threshold, which I think is the main reason why he comes in less than Isaiah Pacheco, even though pretty much everything else, statistically, height, all that stuff is similar. Now, the setup for the Blitz is to just simply pinch your defensive line, and then what I really recommend to people, especially post-patch, is back off the slot corner. Um, by backing off the slot corner, I think it just makes this Blitz significantly better, and I would actually recommend backing off the slot corner on both sides, for that matter. Um, there's, I just don't see a ton of value in just pressing in general. Uh, I think it makes the Blitz worse. That's why I think Spinner is actually the best version of the Blitz uh, because I think Spinner is going to come in a lot more consistently. Now, um, another thing that I wanted to say is let's say your four-man is consistently getting picked up. One of the little tricks you can try to do is sometimes changing the, the pass rush angles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to crash our defensive line to the right, and then we're going to QB contain. So we're just going to slightly change the pass rush angles a little bit. Sometimes that can make the blitz a little better, sometimes not. This blitz is a real fluky blitz, okay, if, you, if you're not getting that. Then the last thing here is that it's just to blitz the slot corner. And when you blitz the slot corner, it pretty much is going to make it so they almost have to block the running back. It's really hard to pick this up, um, especially if you have a, a guy that's meeting that 90 agility threshold coming through the A-gap normally that's going to mean this blitz is going to get home. Um, the other thing is, I think with the 90 agility, it makes a spread linebacker look a little bit better. I'm not saying that spreading the linebackers makes the blitz necessarily better, but it gives more time for the flukiness to occur. Really, this is the main way that I like to run it here, and I actually think this makes the most sense of your AP. And even if he gets blocked, the cool part about Ray Lewis is he has um, – he has a uh, really good pass rush statistics. So, you know, you can use that to your advantage. But I've just noticed Ray Lewis comes in a lot of the time when I'm in game. If I send five here, he'll come in every single time. Um, he'll literally come in every single time. Whereas some players, players like uh, Josh Allen, for example, players like 
uh, Jerron Curse, just any kind of run of the mill safety. Kyle Hamilton's another one uh, that I've noticed. But anyways, this is just um, yeah something I noticed. I thought I'd let you guys know about it. And this is just the tip of the iceberg with this defense. If you want to learn how to run this defense at a really high level, join the Patreon. I got a full defensive ebook, not just on this blitz specifically, but on pretty much all kinds of different ways to blitz out a dollar that will make it. I think significantly better. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description. That's where you'll be able to get access to all of my offensive and all of my defensive eBooks. I really think that's the best way to become a better Madden player is just, you know, learning and then obviously using that knowledge in an actual game setting. So thanks for watching the video and to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.